In today's video, we'll try to recreate this viral slide using PowerPoint, Canva and Google Slides. So let's start with PowerPoint where we'll insert a text box and we're just gonna write our word here and we're gonna make the text larger using this icon right here. And I'll just move it to align it to the center of the slide. And here I'm gonna pick a bold font. In my case, I'm gonna pick the font Montserrat Black, which is a font that you can get from Google Fonts if you don't have it installed. And now I'm gonna insert a rectangle that's gonna take the whole area of the slide. Then I'm gonna right click and send to back. And I'll zoom out a little bit so we can select both of the elements here. And then I'll go to merge shapes and click on combine. And now let's get rid of the outline here. Just select no outline. And we basically created a mask for our image. Now let's save this mask so we can use it later on in this video. So right click on it, save as picture. So here just change the name and make sure that the file type is a PNG and click on save. And now it's time to add our image. So I'm just gonna get this one from Unsplash, which is a free images website. And I'll just drag it into my slide, then right click on it and send to back. And now just click on crop and we'll move the handles all the way to the edges of the slide. And then we're gonna go to the drop down from crop and click on fill. And now let's move on to the animation part of this slide. So we're gonna duplicate the slide with Ctrl D. Now you're gonna zoom out as much as you can then we're gonna select our text mask and we're gonna make it larger. And we're trying to make that the mask doesn't touch the image at all and that it's clearly visible. If you need to make it even larger, you can do that from this panel size. You just have to lock the aspect ratio and increase the scale. And here I'm just making sure that the mask doesn't cover the image at all. And it's just a matter of playing with the size and with the position of that mask. Now I'm gonna make the image slightly larger and then I'm gonna click on transitions and morph. And that's PowerPoint done with this amazing transition. Now let's go to Canva, click on presentations and then select the presentation option here. And for this one, we're gonna go to elements and scroll down a little bit until we reach the frames area. And here we're gonna start looking for the letters of our word. So in my case, my word is India. So here I'm just putting the letter I, then the letter N, then the letter D and so on and so forth. And these are basically image placeholders. Now, in terms of animation, we will be very limited with Canva and with Google Slides, but I'll show you a couple of tricks that you can use that could look a little bit similar. So now I'm just gonna change the color of the background to black. And then I'm gonna go to elements again, go to the photos area, see all. And here I'll just look for a nice picture. So something like this one. And now I'm gonna drag it into the first letter. Then I'm gonna double click on it and I'm gonna change the position of the image to align to the area of the slide. And I'll make sure that it's centered within the slide. And now we're gonna repeat the process with the rest of the letters. And you can just drag the image directly into the letter placeholder here but you'll have to manually align it to the size of the slide. And I'll basically repeat the process with the rest of the letters. And for this particular example, we won't be able to add animation, but after this one, I will show you how you can um, kind of replicate what we did in PowerPoint. So once you're finished, this is the final result, which is a little bit basic, but I think it works. And for the second way, we're gonna insert that image that we did 
in PowerPoint and I'm just going to put it here. I'm going to change the color of the background so you can see exactly what I'm doing. But this is basically the mask that we created in PowerPoint. And then I'm going to insert my image and then I'm going to right click, click on layer and then click on send to back. And I'm just going to make it larger so it takes the whole area of the slide. And now let's click on the mask. Let's go to animate. And here let's select this effect stomp. So now when we play it in full screen mode, we get this effect, which I know it's not the same as the one in PowerPoint, but it's pretty close. Now there's a couple of ways to do this in Google Slides. So the first one, let's go to insert word art. And here let's write our word, which in this case is India and let's make it larger. I'll just make sure that it's centered within the slide. And then we're going to go to fonts, more fonts. And here we're going to look for this font right here, Zilla Slab Highlight. And we're going to click on OK. So now we're going to select it. Again, I'm going to center the text in the slide. And now I'm going to make it bolder with this icon right here. And let's get rid of the outline and let's change the color to black. Now we're going to start inserting rectangles all around the text. And let's get rid of the outline and change the color to black. And we're basically just going to make sure that everything around our text is covered because we are creating a mask um, as we did with PowerPoint. And once you're done with that, I'm just going to insert my image as I did before. So I'm just going to drag it into my slide and then right click order and send to back. And here you can just align it so you can see it through the text. And this is what we got, which is pretty basic as well, but it looks pretty cool. But if you want to take it to the next level, Let's insert that image that we did in the PowerPoint section of this video. Then again, let's insert our beautiful India picture here. Right click and send to back. And here I'll just make it larger so it takes the whole area of the slide. And now let's click on the mask. Let's go to animate. Here I'll just change this animation right here to fade out and we won't get the super cinematic effect that we got in PowerPoint but we got something like this which is pretty cool as well. Remember that all of my free templates are available on lurrutiappt.com. Don't forget to subscribe and to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at lurrutiappt. As always, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for your support and I will see you on my next video.